Okay, good morning, student, once again. So we will continue, okay, whatever remaining of our previous class, and we will complete, try to complete by today itself. All of you, can you see the screen? All of you, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I like, uh, we will discuss the management, okay? So let's do fast, fast, because it's, it's very long process. <clears throat> Okay, so you can just turn on your to your pages, okay? Like uh, you already have you already got the notes now. So management. So uh, in the management, what your ma'am already gave you all now in that management, first of all, uh, she had given you all the medical therapy that is like in a very uh, short way, okay? So medical therapy means in all cases, the urine volume more than two liter per day should be achieved. So this... Uh, so it's very simple. So I would like to elaborate a little bit more, okay? Because there are many, like the prevention is also there and there are some medication is also there. So, so I will discuss everything about all those. So, but to study in the exam, so whatever it was given to you all, okay? The notes that must you study. So, but still, if you want to know details about it. So medical therapy, in all cases, the urine volume more than two liter per day should be achieved. So normally what happened is that, uh, so, uh, so the, the, the amount of, like uh, the amount of urine that we excrete every day is not it. So the amount of that urine volume should be two liter per day or else should be more than two liter per day. So this is the amount that we need to achieve. If we can't achieve more than this or less than this, uh, not less, if we, if we can't achieve this much, that means there is some like problem or some obstruction or some complication that affect our kidney, okay? So that is how we can manage, okay? The, we can manage our urine volume. So next is lithotripsy. Lithotripsy, I already explained you all, okay? Because a chota chota se break karta hai na? Anything that even the stone and all also they break into a small small particles, okay? So lithotripsy, which is also known as extra corporal shock wave, okay? Extra corporal shock wave. So in you can just write down in short if you want to just write it down. You can write down in short and the short form extra corporal E S W L. You can just write down in that way. All you just write down in capital letter, okay? E S W L, E S W L. It, it indicate uh, E stand for extra corporal, and S for shock, W for wave, L for lithotripsy. So you can write down. This is the procedure, okay? That is can be done in order to manage. So later on, like uh, I will be discussing the details about this, okay? Now you just know that these are some of the like procedure that you can perform to manage the kidney stone. So next is surgical removal. This also, there are also some surgical removal, okay? All this also I will discuss in details. So surgical remo remo removal also can be done, so. Are you clear with these three points? Medical therapy, lithotripsy, surgical removal. Are you clear? Are you clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we will yes, do the details now. So treatment for kidney stone varies because as we know that we have different kind of kidney stone, okay? Types of kidney stone we discussed. Maybe a calcium, maybe a uric acid, maybe a struvite. So many kidney stone are there. So as the kidney stone varies, the treatment also will vary. Okay, her alag alag tarika ka stone hai. So obviously, uska treatment bhi varies hoga. So depending on the type of stone and the causes, so what are the treatment that we can perform? So let us discuss one by one. First is small stone with minimal symptoms. Means the stone will be very small and the symptoms will all, uh, also be very minimal. Okay, symptoms bhi jada nahi hoga. So uh, most small kidney stone won't require invasive treatment. Okay, invasive means cutting that I already told you. So agar cutting vagera was up, surgery vagera was up nahi karna hai, to let us discuss, okay, one by one. So how can you do with the, the we help of non-invasive treatment? So most small kidney treatment, uh, more, most small kidney stone won't require invasive treatment. You may be able to pass a small stone by 
सो ऑल ऑफ यू हैव एनी आइडिया सो इफ अगर कुछ सर्जरी भी नहीं करना है अगर कुछ काट बात भी नहीं करना है ट्यूब इंसर्शन भी नहीं करना है सो वट विल बी द बेस्ट प्रोसीड्योर ओके देट कैन रिमूव योर किडनी स्टोन जो स्टोन द स्टोन इज वेरी स्मॉल ओके सो कैन एनी वन टेल मी Water. Yes. Very good. When you drink a lots of water, it's not yet very good. Drinking water. So drinking water. So this is drinking. Uh, drinking water. Okay. Drinking as much as that is. Uh, this. Uh, two to three quart. That is two to three uh, quart. Okay. Mm, a day will help urine dilute and may prevent stone from forming. So drinking water is very very much essential. At least two to three liter or else one point eight to three point six liter per day. Okay, two or three liter pini se bahot jada essential hai. And this will help you to keep your urine dilate. So when we drink a lots of water, what happen? The uh, our urine is very clear. Okay, it is very dilute. It is not concentrated, and it and and. When you drink a lots of water, it can prevent the stone from forming. Okay, it can prevent us um, from for formation of stone. And unless your doctor suggests, unless your doctor's suggestion, otherwise drink enough fluid. So until unless your doctor or your physician will not suggest you less drink less of water means because some patient are there not those who have edema there is accumulation of fluid in their body the doctor sometimes might suggest they don't drink a lots of water so until and unless your physician won't suggest you to drink less amount of water always try to drink enough fluid every day and ideally mostly water means there are certain fluid is not it fluid juice and all certain fluid are there but you have to ideally focus on water okay and to produce clear or nearly clear urine so this drinking a lots of water that is 2 to 3 quart every day will help you to produce a clear or nearly clear urine and this can also slowly and steadily remove the small stone that is present okay chota chota stone be remove kar sakta hai with this with the help of this So are you clear with drinking water? All of you? Yes. Yes ma'am. Okay, yes. Okay, let's move on. So let's move on. Next pain pain reliever, okay? Obviously you have you have got in the symptoms, right? You have got in the symptoms. So if someone have any kind of kidney stone, then that means there will be some obstruction or there will be some blockage. So uh, that can lead to flank pain, back pain. Okay, different, different, like uh, different in different part of the organs. Now right? that there can be pain, so passing a small stone can cause some discomfort. So uh, passing a small stone can cause. Wait, wait, just just a second. Uh, oh, can you hear me, student? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma so sorry. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, next pain reliever. Okay. So passing a small stone can cause some uh, discomfort. So like uh, when you pass, when you, when the stone is present, okay, and when that stone passes from your bladder and then into the ureter, then obviously there will be some discomfort. Okay, when your small stone is being passed. So to relieve that mild pain, okay, your doctor may recommend pain reliever. So there are certain kinds of pain reliever that is painkiller. Present, okay. So here they might suggest you to take a pain reliever, and the name of that pain reliever is ibuprofen. So all these are the not the invasive press, uh, this treatment, okay. These are these are non-invasive treatment. So without cutting, so it can relieve. That is by drinking a lots of water, and also like when there is excessive pain by just taking the this uh, uh, pain reliever. So next, coming to the next. So after the pain, there is a medical therapy. Okay, the physician may give a medication to help pass kidney stones. So there are certain like medication, okay, that can uh, help you to pass away your kidney, uh, kidney stone, okay, through your urine. Those stone, uh, those stone present, होता है ना when when we frequently pass our urine, what happen is that uh, it like it help us in the clearance. Of, without any surgery na jo hamara um, kidney mein jo stone hai agar wo stone chhota hai to it can, if it is like 5 uh, mm or if it is less than 5 mm that means the stone is very small na so it can just be like uh, filter away or like excrete away by our urine so 
So the, the doctor will suggest some medication. So this type of medication known as an alpha blocker. So alpha, alpha blocker, okay? This will relax the muscle in the ureter, okay? Helping to pass the kidney stone more quickly and with less pain. So there are certain medication, okay? The doctor will suggest a certain medication and the name of those medications are alpha blocker. So what does this alpha blocker do? They relaxes our muscles in the ureter because uh, the muscles that are present in the ureter that will be relaxed by this medication that is alpha blocker, okay? And once the muscle, the ureter muscle is relaxed, that will help us to pass, okay, the kidney stone more quickly with less pain. Because when your ureter muscle is relaxed, then obviously the stone that is present will pass, okay, without causing any pain. So that is how this alpha blocker medication works. Uh, in order to relieve the kidney stone. So are you clear with these three points, drinking water, pain reliever, medical therapy? Yes or yes. no? Okay, there are certain like alpha blocker medicine, okay, which is not required to know. You just know alpha blocker like uh, tamsulosin, uh, all those are the medication. It's not required for you all, all those things. So now let us discuss the large stones and those that cause symptoms. So. Uh, previously, we have discussed about the small stone, okay? The small stone with minimum symptoms. So now we will discuss about the large stones and those that cause symptoms. So kidney stones that are too large to pass on their own. That previous one, whatever we have discussed, okay? That was the uh, non-invasive procedure. That means through drinking water or through medication or whatever it is, true that it can just be removed as it is small. So now we will be discussing the large stone. So kidney stone that are too large to pass on their own or cause bleeding. So because the stone is too big now, so that stone can hamper your, this, any part of your organ that will cause bleeding and even the kidney damage and or ongoing urinary tract infection that can also lead to urinary tract infection and may require more extensive treatment as compared to that of the small stone. So, so first of all, in this case, what type of treatment you need to perform, okay? You have to use sound wave to break up stone. So using sound wave to break up stone. So just before that, I have already given you all in advance. So what was the name of that sound wave that used to break up the stone? What was the name of that procedure? Yes, yeah, say loudly, say loudly. Slowly and loudly. Okay, very good. It is little trip. Say yes. Okay. So using sound waves to break up stone, listen carefully. Okay, using sound waves to break up stone means like there for certain kidney stone okay for certain kidney stone that is depending on the size depending because some of the kidney stone might be very large uh, some of them like be a medium moderate okay so uh, so for certain kidney stone depending on the size and the location where it is present okay your doctor may recommend a procedure called this uh, extra corporal shock wave lithotripsy that is eswl which i have already given you all so jab stone itna bara ho jata hai to so the doctor will suggest this okay extra corporal shock with lithotripsy so what happened is that this is a like this is a sound wave okay that used to create strong vibration extra wo hai sound wave hai jo bahut strong vibration create karta hai and that will break the kidney stone into small small tiny pieces okay so once the stone is break into small small tiny pieces so then what happen is that that small small tiny pieces of stone can be excreted in your urine so that is very, very much helpful because when the stone is very big, it, you can't excrete in your urine, it's not it. But once it is small, it can, by drinking a lot of water, you can like excrete it out. So that is why this is the process of how extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy works. So you understand what is the meaning of using sound wave to break up stones? All of you, you understand? What is using sound yes, wave? Okay, all of you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that is the procedure. And uh, the, the procedure is a very interesting procedure. It's not, we, we 
already posted in the like in the medical what and all now we used to see all this this the surgery used to mainly take the procedure used to take mainly for 45 to 60 like minutes and all like almost one hour also sometime it used to take okay and there when 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 this occur this procedure occur okay like uh, the person may faint may may feel a pain okay like not that much pain that but the pain is like moderate okay moderate pain all this and what happened is that when they perform this uh when the, they perform this procedure okay that is this procedure so they used to like give sedation so uh have you ever had anesthesia have you had anesthesia anesthesia have you heard what is anesthesia yes, Okay, so anesthesia means like uh, me, before doing any surgery or any procedure now when when the doctor knows that if that procedure will be painful to the patient okay at that time he or she used to give, perform anesthesia before undergoing any kind of procedure. So that anesthesia so they used to give some kind of like pain reliever or else uh, this anesthesia is uh, given okay under sedation so. So, and then this, uh, uh, this, uh, this extracorporeal shock with lithotripsina. So the, this process can also cause blood in your urine because while performing this procedure now, it can also cause blood in your urine. That is hematuria. Hematuria, yes, sir, be like you, uh, means you can see in the urine. And then again, bruising on the back or in your abdomen. Means, uh, you might find bruising, okay, in your abdomen or else in the back all this and then uh, the bleeding might also occur around your kidney all this you can see i'm just uh, telling you all just a small details so okay next let us go to surgery to remove very large stone in the kidney so so before in the beginning itself you have found now that surgery so now we will discuss uh, what is the name of that surgery that is undergoing to remove very large stone in the kidney so a procedure called you can write a percutaneous uh, nephrolithotomy. Okay, you can just write down if you want to write down. Percutaneous, P E R C U T A N E O U S. P E R C U T A N E O U S. Percutaneous nephrolithotomy. N E P H R O. Nephro L I T H O T O M Y. Nephrolithotomy. Are you done, all of you? All of you done? Uh, all of you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So, yes, 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 yes. I can't see the screen. You cannot see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Uh, other, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, Regina, you, uh, you do one thing. You leave the meeting and now itself you join again. Okay, ma'am. You try once. All of you, can you hear me? All of you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma surgery all these things now you try to know these are very interesting one you just fall in love with all this procedure it is very very interesting so surgery to remove very large stone okay surgery uh, a procedure called which i have already given you that is percutaneous uh, this uh, nephro uh, this nephrolithotomy now just now i have given you all this one so this this uh, this procedure what happened is that it involves surgical removing of the kidney stone okay ye yaha pe ek surgery perform karta hai that the name of that surgery is which i have given you all now through that surgery they used to remove the kidney stone okay using a small telescope an instrument inserted through a small incision in your back. That means a small incision will be, incision means cut, okay, cut. A small incision is made at your back, okay? And, and with there, what happened is that um, a small telescope, telescope and an instrument are being inserted there, okay, in that incision. And here also what happened as this surgery will be performing, so uh, means anesthesia, uh, means general anesthesia will also be required. So anesthesia diya jata hai in the hospital itself 
So, and then this surgery is mainly done, okay, when, when ESW, that is uh, number one point, ESW, ESWL is uh, unsuccessful. Because if ESWL, uh, this um, ESWL is successful, that means you break the stone into small pieces, then it will, that, that small pieces will obviously automatically be removed in your urine, it's not it. But even after performing the ESWL procedure, still the stone are not being removed by your urine, okay? It's not removed in your urine. So what happened in that case only, in that case when the stone are still remaining, in that case we perform this surgery. That is, uh, which I have given you all, okay? Parcutaneous necrolithotomy. Srijana, can you see the screen? Srijana, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So, mm, yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is how it is performed. Okay, next, using a scope to remove a stone. Okay, using a scope to remove a stone. So, uh, means yeah, using a scope means not to remove a smaller stone in your ureter or kidney. Okay, the, the physician may pass a thin light tube that is. A ureteroscope. They used to tell a ureteroscope. Okay, that is a thin lighted tube. Okay, uh, that is attached with camera. Okay, through your ureter and bladder. All this type of procedure are being performed. Okay, in order to remove stone. There are different different formulas. So you just need to know that is with the help of using a scope, we, we can also remove a kidney stone. So how it is being removed? Detail is much not. I mean, it is not much required. But still, if you want to know, then ureteroscope. There is a thin lighted tube. It is being in, uh, means like uh, it is being uh, inserted, okay, with the help of, with camera. That is that 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 tube is mainly inserted to your urethra, okay, and then bladder and then to your ureter. So this is how it is being done. And then like next is a parathyroid gland surgery. This parathyroid gland, you know what is parathyroid? Parathyroid. Parathyroid gland. I think we have studied this in our applied anatomy, physiology, all this. Parathyroid. Have you heard the term parathyroid? Yes, ma'am. Okay, parathyroid. So this parathyroid gland surgery means now nah, this there are uh, some calcium phosphate stones uh, are caused by means uh, overactive parathyroid gland. Okay, there are some calcium phosphate stone that are caused by overactive parathyroid gland. Okay, which are located on the four corner of your thyroid gland. Okay, all this thyroid gland means uh, just below that. You know what is Adam apple? You know what is Adam's apple? Any, yes, ma'am. Yes, um, Adam apple. So, that are mainly uh, which are located on the four corner of your thyroid, then just below your Adam apple, okay? So when this gland, okay, when this gland, they produce too much of parathyroid hormone. So too much of parathyroid hormone, we call it hyperparathyroidism. Nah? So when this this hyperthyroidism, when this gland produces too much parathyroid hormone, that is hyperparathyroidism, your calcium level can become too high, okay? When and your kidney stone may form. So this is the like process how it works. So, <clears throat> so hyperparathyroidism, all these are like very, very like uh, not good for our health and this is like this mainly occur when your calcium level and or are very much high okay so to maintain this all these are into a normal uh, range is very very much essential so so we when uh, when all these forms occur now so what happened is that parathyroid gland surgery is being done in order to like prevent from all this hyper parathyroidism and all so you just see all those things, large stone. And if you have any doubt, ask me now. All this sound wave surgery using anything. If you have any doubt, ask me. Ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma'am, explain again about parathyroid gland. Actually, I got disconnected. That's why. Oh, you got disconnected. Okay, okay. 
Okay, okay, so I, I will explain for you. What about others, other point, anything? Anything, anything you want to ask? I'm using a scope. Once again, please explain. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Okay, first let me explain this parathyroid gland surgery. Okay, I was asked this first. Okay, uh, means para, parathyroid gland surgery means now nah, uh, there are some calcium, okay, calcium phosphate stones uh, that are caused by this calcium phosphate stone. Okay, remember what I'm saying. There are some calcium uh, phosphate stones that are mainly caused by overactive parathyroid gland. That means when the parathyroid gland is so much overactive, okay, that cause this calcium phosphate stone, okay, and these are mainly located on the four corner of your thyroid gland. These are mainly located, okay, uh, this stone mainly located on your four corner of your thyroid gland. That is just below your Adam apple, okay. So when this gland produce too much parathyroid gland, okay, hormone, I mean. When, when this gland, they produce too much parathyroid hormone, that is hyperparathyroidism. Uh, so when they produce too much this parathyroid hormone, your calcium level can become too high and that can lead to kidney stone. That is why, so that is why to prevent from this uh, till leading to the kidney stone, okay? You have to uh, you have to do this early surgery, okay? Early treatment is very, very much essential. So that like uh, it does not, little to kidney stone. So that is all about uh, this parathyroid gland surgery. Are you clear, Ilasara? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next, uh, let us discuss about the using a scope to remove uh, this stone, okay? Scope to remove some means, uh, how will I say? It means uh, to remove a smaller stone, okay? In your like uh, ureter or else in your kidney. Your, uh, your doctor may pass a thin light tube, okay? A thin, uh, um, so Jenna, you have to take screenshot, okay? Because the, the only 10 minutes left. So um, there is a thin, uh, there is a thin lighted tube, okay? Which is known as uteroscope. So this is this lighted thin tube, okay? Which is a cube with a camera. That is, this tube is attached with a camera, okay? And that this is, mainly inserted to your urethra and then into your bladder and then to your ureter, okay? In order to locate, in order to see, okay? With the help of this tube, they will locate the stone with the help of this scope, okay? This scope comes out of the thin lighted tube that is uteroscope. The camera ka saad attach hota hai. So it will go to your urethra, bladder, to your ureter, it will go like that, like that. And then well, once they locate the stone, okay? Then, the, then after that, they used to perform the this procedure once it is being located. So this is how the scope is being used um, uh, to remove the stone. So are you clear, Sujana? You just need to know yes, that you just need to know that uteroscope is being used. Okay, the uteroscope means a thin lighted tube which is attached with the camera. Okay. With that scope, they will try to like locate that stone where the stone is present. They will locate. Once they locate, they will perform the procedure and then they will remove the stone. So this is how the large stones are being uh, like uh, removed. So the small stone was very interesting. Bus pani pina hai jada jada pain reliever dena hai medical therapy that can relieve. And this is the invasive one. Okay, using sound wave surgery to remove very large stone and then using a scope and then parathyroid gland surgery, all these things. And if you all are still confused, I will upload the video, no need to be intense. You can just like, uh, like you can just revise it again. So next is prevention. So prevention of kidney stone may include a combination of lifestyle changes and medication, okay? Because what we have discussed was the treatment, okay? Kesa treat kya jata hai. Now we will discuss how we can prevent. So prevention of kidney stone may include a combination of lifestyle changes as well as medication. So first of all, let us discuss about the lifestyle changes. You may reduce your risk of kidney stone if you drink water throughout the day. Ye lifestyle changes, lifestyle changes. So if you drink water throughout the day. So 
So for those patients, okay, or for those people, okay, those who have a kidney disease, kidney stone means kidney, uh, those who have a history of kidney stone, okay, the doctor usually used to recommend that you drink lots and lots of water, okay, urine at the at least two liter per day, you drink every day, they used to suggest. And then also like the doctor used to suggest to like measure the urine outputs. It means whatever you have, the amount of urine you intake and the amount of urine you excrete, they used to like suggest to do that urine output uh, <clears throat> investigation, okay? And then like what happened is that when we live, okay, the, we, when we live in a hot, dry climate, okay? Or else like when we do exercise frequently, Okay, we may want, because when you live in a hot places, what happened, and when you live in a dry climate, and when you exercise frequently, you, we, are, we have the urge, okay, to drink a lot and lots of amount uh, of water. So you may need to drink even more water to produce enough urine. So in that cases, and those who live in the hot area, dry climate, and then those who exercise frequently, so because you are sweating out. Now, when you do exercise sweating out, jadahi fluid like excrete kar hai. So you have to drink a lot and lots more of water. <clears throat> so are you clear with this lifestyle changes? Yes. So like after drinking a water throughout the day means drinking lots of water. If you find that your urine is clear, okay, your urine is very clean and clear, then it shows that like uh, the amount of water that is uh, essential for your body every day, it's being like uh, means uh, it's being balanced in your body. So that is how it is works. So eat fewer oxalate rich food, okay. Um, it, it fewer uh, oxalate rich food means ox, oxalate rich food, bohat sara food hai, ha? that is very, very rich in oxalate. Okay, calcium oxalate stone, you heard about that, na? So, so if you tend to form any kind of calcium oxalate stone, okay, the doctor may recommend this resting, restricting food, okay, which are very, very much rich in oxalate. So do you have any like example, do you know any example that are very rich in oxalate food? So these are the lifestyle changes, you know. With these changes, you can prevent kidney uh, stone. So it is very interesting. So anyone have an idea? Like consa food here that is rich in oxalate. Anyone? Anyone? Have you heard about beetroot? Beetroot? Yes. Beetroot. Spinach, yes, beetroot, spinach, all these nuts, sweet potato, all this chocolate tea, all this black pepper, all these, they are very, very rich in oxalate, okay? So you eat all those food, but you have to eat with a fever, fewer amount, with a few amount, okay? Jada nahi lena hai, nahi khana hai. So the, with these lifestyle changes, if you perform this type of lifestyle changes in your daily life, that can help you to prevent from uh, like infecting this with this kidney stone. So this is how from your home itself, home remedies you can follow. So next is choose a diet which is low in salt and animal protein. So every uh, so you have to eat a certain kind of diet that is low in salt. You have to. Take in, intake of salt is good, but too much is not good. Huh? So uh, salt be jada, jada kam kanai. And then animal protein. So all this animal protein is also good, okay? But you have to take, uh, uh, means in a less quantity or in a less amount. So, so, <clears throat> so are, uh, are you getting what I'm explaining? Yes. Okay. You have to continue eating calcium rich food, okay? Listen this line carefully. Continue eating calcium rich food, but use caution with calcium supplement. Calcium supplement means the tablet and all, okay? So continue eating calcium rich food means, uh, means whatever calcium that you get from the food, okay? From your diet that you eat continuously, but uh, when you are trying to eat the calcium supplement, okay, that is calcium tablet, you have your calcium syrup or whatever it is, when you are trying to take this calcium supplement, uh, then you have to be cautioned, okay, you have to be careful, 
So with, without the like without the prescription of a doctor, you just can't take any kind of supplement. So so um, means calcium. This calcium, what happens is that calcium in food in food now it does not have any effect on your risk of this developing kidney stone. Okay, you have you have to continue and continue eating this uh, this calcium rich food in your diet. But only when you eat this calcium supplement, okay, you have to like. Uh, take instruction from the this dietitian or else from your doctor. So with these lifestyle changes that will be made by you, you can prevent uh, yourself suffering from any kind of kidney disease. So are you clear with this prevention? Yes. Lifestyle changes. It could hamper saktahe, not like means before. Uh, whatever we have discussed was how the how the stone is infected, and then stone kesa ayata, how it is caused, what are the types of stone, well, how can you treat, what are the like what are the like surgical procedure, invasive, non-invasive process you can perform. That is everything was after the occurrence of the kidney stone. Okay, kidney stone ho gaya kisi insan kidney stone ho gaya. Now before the occurrence, how can you prevent yourself? That is with the help of lifestyle changes. So in your daily life, now you are all are very young in your daily life, if you perform all these things, or you can also give suggestion to everyone like this, because you already know not types of kidney stone kese kesa hota hai. So try to find out even from the, the Google and also what type of food are rich in oxalate, what type of food are rich in calcium, all this, everything you can like find it out. So are you clear whatever we have discussed today? Yes, ma'am. All of you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, a little bit about medication is left. That one I will just send you all in the PDF. There is only a little one or two lines left. Okay, and even that uh, now it's only one minute left. Okay. Okay then <clears throat> okay then that's all for today okay so we will continue the class tomorrow